Welcome to KB General here. Um, this is uh, Dr. Kanesha. I don't call her by name because Dr. Kanesha, it's her Instagram name. So, I mean, I don't call her by the surname because like, <laughs> this is the name. <laughs> so Dr. Kanesha, she studied in SMU. Um, she currently at uh, Tambo Memorial. And uh, yeah, so is there anything that I missed in terms of introduction, um, Dr. Um it isn't but then my username is dr khan okay but then you're right dr khan is dr khan it's okay and plus yeah i don't prefer people calling you my name so yeah it's fine <laughs> okay okay no thank you so those that are watching this that have been subscribed to the youtube channel please uh go subscribe we need to you know the numbers need to be increasing and those that will be watching this on the youtube please do subscribe so yes, um, I'd really like to thank uh, Dr. Khan for this opportunity, but let's just switch straight, Dr. Khan. Why, why Tambo Memorial, man? Was it because of the boyfriend? What was it? I mean, you're from Mokopo. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have to start with that? Oh my God. <laughs> um, no, it was not because of the boyfriend, but at some point I prayed I could get it because the boyfriend, uh, but no, that was not the main reason. So when I was still on your side, because you are freezing on my side. Uh, I, th I think I think it's both of us mm -hmm. just interchanging, but you know, because on my side it's showing that your network is red, you know? Mm -hmm. So I don't mm -hmm. know which one is which, yeah. But yeah, you are, you are busy. We, we'll keep on revisiting the things that we talked about because of the network. So whenever we miss something else, we'll keep on, on revisiting. Okay. But yeah, continue. Okay, no problem. So I I, I asked like people, because uh, I, you know, how I asked my question was like, if I want to like go out like in community service and be independent and be able to do things on my own, where would you recommend I go? You know, I was asking different people. So, and there were a few people that I trusted. And then uh, one of them told me that actually, you know, if you want to learn, you know, and when you get out of that institution feeling like you're a doctor, I would recommend Tambo Memorial for you. You know, I wouldn't uh, recommend like necessarily an academic hospital. Mm. And then um, they described to me how the people are there at Tambo, how the consultants are, how dedicated they are. So because now, now I was hooked into the whole idea of a, you know, Dr. Khan, I just want to go out there and, you know, when, when I'm doing something, then I know what I'm doing. I'm confident in what I'm doing. And I need people that are going to be able to instill that knowledge in me. Mm -hmm. So that's why. And it was actually my first choice. Mm. Okay, where, 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 where is it? I mean, I think I heard it. Okay, one of my friends did uh, anything there, but mm -hmm. I heard it recently, man. I mean, where is it? Where, where, is, the, where is it exactly? And what's your, your near, your surrounding? Okay, um, it's in Boxburg. Uh, Boxburg, it's near, I think it's near East Rand. Okay, I'm not used to like Joburg and I'm like, I don't travel a lot. I'm scared of like <laughs> the yeah. Josie part. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's in Boxburg and um, it's suburbish. I would say it's suburbish because where I live, it's like houses, like very beautiful houses. Of, and then it's mostly occupied by white people. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, shops and malls like at like very near distances. So it's, it's, it, it's sort of like has everything. Mm, okay, okay. So it's it's how, how what's the distance from you to what's the biggest mall you're close to? Is it Mall of Africa? Is it Centen? Is it okay? Definitely some men name, but what's the biggest? <laughs> okay, the biggest mall that I'm closest to when I'm here it's Carnival Mall. Oh, okay. So it's that side of the East East Trend, yeah. That's the side of yeah. Noni down there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. that side. So you're not really far from Tele Telem Fora, eh? No, I'm not really far from Tele. Uh, it's it's uh, it's it's just here. It's it's not far. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, I see, I see. So um, I I know that that's why you've done um, two rotations. Now you're going to your 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 third one. Could be ops, could be gensets, could be pits. But Ooh, how, how were 
the keys. Oh my God. No. <laughs> So what's up? What's up? Well, how are the first one? Which one's your your first two? Uh, my first one was Open Gaini. Then my second one was Pete. Then mm -hmm. now I'm doing saying, wow, Gen Search. And I'm so happy because woo, uh, uh, I, I like really cannot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, how was, how was uh, the ops in terms of, uh, you know, the just the, the, the good part, the bad part about it and what should be? Wow, one, how can one be prepared for it? Okay, so with ops, ops was actually very um, fun. Mm -hmm. It was nice. We had like ups and downs because you know it happened, it means clashes and everything. Uh, or maybe it was fun for me because I never had a problem with it from the get go. Mm -hmm. um, so the good thing about it is like we have seniors that are you still on. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Don't worry. I just have to close the windows. Yeah, so I thought you went away. Sorry. No, no, no. It's, I just didn't want to disturb, you know, so I'm still here. Mm, you took right, the seniors, so, yeah? Yeah, so um, the seniors are, are actually very good and they are very dedicated. The head of Department of Ops and Gaina is someone who is very you know, he's done, he's done and he wants what's, what's best for us. Like he actually fights for us. And, but he does not have to fight much because the seniors are actually willing, you know, to, to help us. And um, what I can say about the bad part of it, well, personally, I'll speak for myself. Like I, I didn't get along well with certain people, you know, mm -hmm. in, in that. Uh, Dr. Khan, are you still there? Like personality clashes and all that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you, you're saying you didn't get well with the people uh, personally. We missed you there. Yeah, like it's, 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 you know, this, I don't want to say the sisters because now it's like I'm coming for them. The people no, that are. No, 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 no. You, you know what? These, these things must be said, you know, so that because, you know, you might find that you are not the one at fault, you see. So, one who has to go there must be prepared to say, I must be expecting this type of treatment from the sister, whoever. Yes, might not be that sister, that, but I think it's something that, it's an experience. So we are sharing everything, you know? I might not experience that when I come there, but I think if you share it, it will be, be okay. You should actually come here. Oh my God, you learn a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that one. Let's find, if, if, if the interview, if I feel the interview really, you know, absorbed me that side, I'll put it on my top five. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Let's, I, I hope, I hope I, I put you there on the top five. Yeah. But like, okay, going to you um, where I left off is um, the sisters, ne? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. No ending. The sisters, the sisters, uh, you're saying the sisters, then it cut. Okay, mm. the, 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 uh, the sisters and us, ne? It's like, there's a gap. Ne? Mm -hmm. feel like we intimidate them or we feel like we are their seniors ne? Mm -hmm. and okay me personally I don't feel like I'm their senior although I have a right to command them to do certain things because well I'm a doctor but I want to learn you understand mm -hmm. so I feel like how treated as some of them was to say you are, you are not going to tell me anything. You are a child. If anything, that's me who's going to, I call the shots around here, you understand? Mm. So that sort of like provokes you to say, happily now I'm a doctor. I could easily say to you, do this and you have to do it because those are doctor's orders, you understand? But then- mm -hmm. You know, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me now? You know, you're saying uh, things that are very profound, you know, but the, the connection is the one that is disappoint disappointing us. Um, yeah, can you hear me now? I can. I've always been hearing you. I, I don't know, but I don't know. Okay. Can you guys hear her or me? I'm not sure who, who got the problem here. I'm not sure. Someone just comment there or just say something because I don't know if it's me who got the problem or it's her, you know? Um, so... We can you can hear uh, uh, 
Oh, okay, it's my it's my connection. So, but if it's my connection, can you hear her? Should I continue? You know, that's that's the question that I have because some parts you find that I say I like you continue, then it's not recorded, or you guys didn't hear it. But if you can hear, her, then um, it's it's okay. Um, okay, we'll continue. Yeah, both of you. Well. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, you you were you were saying. Um, the, the part of the hierarchy and say, I, 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 I will uh, command you to do this, command you to do, yeah, you can just carry on from there. Yes, so that gap, I feel like it's not well understood. And mm -hmm. I feel like the sisters maybe feel like we are trying to prove a point or we're trying to fight them in a way. So I mean, that was, that was really a terrible experience. And in terms of how you attend to emergencies and how they react to you attending to those in ups and guy in them, so in a tumble, it's like when you are on the floor, for example, I'm just going to give you a very brief like story and about how things work around there. So in tumble, like when you are on the floor, you're literally managing all the wards and then the person who's in theater manages only theater. Mm -hmm. Doing gynae. So there are two like ops wards and then there is postnatal ward as well. And then there is guy, the guy new ward. So now when these people call you, you need to try your patients. You need to like, cause you cannot run around. If you are going to run around, you're going to be very tired at the end of the rotation and you would hate it, you know? So you need to decide which patient is more important. Who am I going to attend to first? Understand? Yeah. So it would happen that and you find Kuri, they're calling me about a patient who has an HB of two. And you are calling me about a patient who's two centimeters dilated and you want me to run to a patient who's two centimeters, you know, those sort of things. Or you want to run to come and do a COVID test while there's someone who actually needs my help more. And we had clashes in terms of that because then now it will take time for me to attend to this emergency, then come to you. By the time I come to you, you're angry. You feel like Mina, I've, I've, I've avoided your call. And, you know, they actually document these things. Like they will try that called Dr. Baloyi, did not answer, called Dr. Baloyi, said she's busy, you know, and sometimes the calls don't even come through. Are you just there on the phone? <laughs> I, I once saw a meme about the same thing, like they just buzz you, Harry, call yeah. you. Mm. And you're there like, but but also equally, like this, I don't understand, but like, yeah. So I had a clash with one of the sisters uh, because she, she, she made up a story she was like, uh, there's a patient who's bleeding. Obviously, when they say a patient is bleeding and a patient, the patient is pregnant, whatever you're doing, if it's if it's breathing, you can just stop breathing and just go attend to the patient. Understand? Mm. Until it was um, a COVID swab so that a patient can be moved to another ward. And I was not very happy about that. And I showed it in my expression, in my face, that I'm not impressed. And I just walked out and I, I did not do the, the COVID test. So that was one bad experience for me and how people expect. I'm an intern and I'm learning. So like, please like just take it slow with me because like this pace that you are using is, is so fast. Oh, and another thing is how sarcastic they can become sometimes, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, I feel you know, I haven't seen as many CTGs, for example, for me to look by and say, okay, there's something wrong with this. Let's check what we can do for the patient. And when you come there and you try to assess with your intern eye, you know, for, for like two weeks, and you think something could be wrong, you know, they have seen them. They know that nothing is wrong. And then maybe you'd make a decision to say, okay, let's take this patient to theater. And then you just hear them make subtle comments like, hmm, the doctor has spoken. What can we say? Now nah, I don't think. And then I ended up confronting one of them. I said, you know what? I'm willing to learn. I have a very teach. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. It's a waste of resources. It's a waste of, like time is a very important resource. So you cannot want to spite me because I'm a doctor and I think I know everything instead of correcting me. So that was one downside of it. Yeah. And yeah, some seniors can get very silly, mm -hmm. um, but that's. And 
yeah, we just move from there. But other than that, very Um, <clears throat> I, I still there. Hey, this network of mine is. Yeah. Okay. okay, I'm still here. Okay, okay. So um, then the part of uh, like with the medicine part, like the seniors, the doctors and all that, how is it? Okay. Um, there isn't much like, um, what can, how can I put it? You know, those present, okay. In, in, in Ops and Gain, we had those presentations that you would have in the morning, you know, just to revise on the like important things that you must do like every day, like situations that you'd meet. This is how you, you must do them. We call them ISMOS. Yeah, well, they had a name. So we had those presentations and this would be pre presented by the seniors. They like you talked about that you get to do the practical of it, the practical work of it comes a patient, then they give you time to actually manage this patient. Oh my God. Woo. And then after you it? are yeah. done, mm -hmm. the tree is about 20%, but I think it's gonna survive. Um, okay. And then are done, you can go present to them and then they see if you have managed the patient well. And then when you have done well, they actually tell you that you did well. And then when you have not like maybe missed something, they will tell you, oh, this is how you should have done it. They're very, they're very chilled about it. Like 90% of them are chilled. There's just one who's just always angry and always grumpy. So <laughs> <laughs> for me, I don't go area because I'm not in the mood, honestly speaking, to be speaking to people that are always angry all the time. But like, yeah. oh, they don't shout at you. They don't shout at you. They don't make you feel like you're stupid and incapable. They're very patient. That is one thing that very, very patient, you know, from teaching you how to hold the instrument correctly, you yeah. know, to technique that you can use, you know, to also like trying to give you ways that you can use to improve your skills. Very good, very, yeah. very good. So they, they allowed you to cut, did you do a few scissors there and there? Yes, we are supposed to do a minimum of 10 scissors each, mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, so they allowed us to cut. Uh, by the time now you were getting to our Boma six scissors, you were just there, you are like, you were moving, like you're just moving. So, and another thing is that one of the seniors, two of the seniors are from SMU. So it made it easy. So we were yeah, like, yeah, brother. Yeah. Yeah. History, you share the same, you know, uh, yes. producer and all that. Yeah, I think, I think it's great. I mean, you just there, you talk about the profs and all that. But, um, yeah. the, hmm? <laughs> what? I'm saying all the time, we would speak about how SMU is yeah. and, and, and. Uh, oh okay and then from there you went to peds <clears throat> on your side is bad because you are stuck yeah you know i i honestly i'm using the best coil best uh what the connectivity you know the best one that is in this room so uh, it's failing but i don't know i don't know what is happening but let me just i hope i don't ruin things what, what are you doing now mara yeah um but you can charge your phone in the meantime if 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 it fails, or you will hold it while it's plugged when when you get to the part of go on you know, yeah okay there's a question oh she, she says video because you have disabled the, the 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 video okay it's fine you can just continue without the video no worries no worries people need to see <laughs> <laughs> no you can you can you can start a video then didn't I make you a post yeah. Um, hopefully it's not gonna end up. It's just gonna go over. Yeah. Are you winning? Okay, fine. Yeah, I won. Okay. Yes. Someone asked the question. I did not see. It's like, did you meet the minimum? I did not see. Yeah. Uh, did you meet the minimum requirements for the section? Um. Basically, the minimum require. Like, you mean in terms of doing the ten, or you yeah. mean in terms? Yeah, I did. Oh. I did. Yeah. But then I did my final Caesar on the final day because you know some seniors where they would like to push theater work. So mm 
Yeah, sometimes I would let them. Yeah, but I did. Okay. Is is it close to? Is it part of the academic uh, hospital? I mean, uh, university or something? Or it's it's none of the above. No, it's 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 not entirely academic. It's it's. Not. No, I mean, do people come from university to come do the stuff? Oh, yeah. Right. Yes, they do. Yeah, they do. We have um, mostly it's vet students that I've seen. Um, the final years, uh, MBCHB students, and there's what they call clinical associates. I don't know what the name of the course is. Yeah. <laughs> course is, yeah. That's, the, that's the name of the course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, sorry. Like it's on top of. So the clinical yeah. associates final years so you like yeah those are the vet students that, that are that i've seen oh and also radiography students from uj oh okay okay perfect then uh pete how was pete i mean it seems like you don't like it how was it <laughs> <laughs> oh my god hmm? i'm so sorry to be dramatic but can i drink water before i answer this <laughs> <laughs> No, you can drink water. Uh, be chilled, you know. Don't, don't worry about it. You, you can have your water. Um, it's allowed. Tell us, we want to know. We want to know. Okay. Um, you know, it, it seems like I did not like it, ne? Mm -hmm. but a lot was just happening during P. Mm -hmm. the, the experience a little bit unbearable and not fun for me because I was I was actually looking forward to it. I remember the first two weeks I was I was actually excited. And then yeah things went south and yeah and then I could not enjoy like uh any of it. Someone I'm still trying to get the feel of level. Okay, I don't know. I'm trying to read questions from this side as well. Or maybe you read them in an answer when I'm done speaking. I don't know. Oh, I know you can actually, you can answer it. She's saying that I'm trying to get a feel of the level of teaching. Like, do you guys get teaching or are there interns there mainly to push FBCs and UNEs? You see, so the question is, did you get it? Doing those things or, th that's basically what the intern does. Like the word, yeah, the, I think it's the, the, the word work. If it's a complicated thing that you have never done. Um, yes, we are being taught, Mashati, but not like in academic hospital, like in George, where you actually have this word round. The topic and interact a bit and then just go. That's like I said, it's an every day like um situation that you would meet those are the ones that we discuss you know because we have no business discussing okay no not that we don't have business but like we wouldn't discuss something like um what's that great molar pregnancy because we have weeks or miscarriages because that's what we come across so those are the topics that we usually sit and try to improve and instill in our minds that, okay, this is what you should do. So that's the level of teaching that's the, oh. I don't know if I answered. I think she'll comment if she's answered or not. Please comment, Nematlat. So yeah, you, you were telling us, Makes I mean, sense. about bronchiolitis, you know, AGE, all those things. So what, what was happening there? It's, I wouldn't mind, not that it's my first choice, I wouldn't mind being a pediatrician, ne? Mm -hmm. uh, mainly because kids are kids, you know, you know that their, their mistakes are very much honest and you, you cannot argue with a kid, like you can't, the best you can do is negotiate with them to say, okay, this is what I'm gonna do to you and try to buy them and all that. And it's actually very cute. I love kids, like kids, amazing. I don't think there's anything wrong with, with kids and also well i can't say that patient attempt as much as you want and it's a very terrible experience i'm sorry for the kids um as well and you don't hear them complaining or they could cry but there's nothing that you can do because you actually need to give them the medication or the fluids through that um 
for me, it was it was something that I enjoyed doing, and I I mustard at the end of of, of the rotation. So mm-hmm. with the book, generally, I did not have a problem. I just said, I feel like I always have problems with people. You know, like <laughs> I don't know. My personality maybe is just something else. But then um, now it was with like colleagues, you know, because um, there would be we at at Tambo, you, when you select a group rep, they are responsible for doing uh, rosters, you know, drawing the shadow and everything. So how they would do it, you know, it would look very much unfair, you know. Uh, I there's am. nobody was. I heard about mm-hmm. that. The weekends, some weekends you're off. The leader is the one that takes the best days. You see? And it, it, it's not only happening in those hospitals. It, it also happens in ours. So when it's happening like that, the girl from SMU who's very much vocal, I'm like, no, fam, we are not going to... <laughs> mm. Yeah, one race to the other it looks like it's a it's a very racial conflict and and that's how it felt for me and um so it got personal to the other person to a point where i feel like they were looking for like little mistakes or like would sort of like look for statements or imply things in my statements mm-hmm. uh, so then it got to a point where they would actually discuss with seniors how Baloi is, or they would go to the sisters and ask how Baloi is. And it was actually very weird because the sisters, the sisters love Baloi. I mean, like, I'm a baby child. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah, and I'm a respectful child, you understand? So when mm. you come and ask in my statement, Baloi, people are just there, like, okay, we don't know what you're on about. So this person uh, would. Uh, when I'm on call, he never, like, he never called with me, he never wanted to work with me. So I felt like, okay, he doesn't. And it got to the point where they would actually discuss with seniors how Baloi is. Okay, I don't know. My voice is playing in the background. So I'm just calling. On call. He never, like, he never called with me, he never wanted to work with me. Mm. Can you hear me? I can, but I don't know where I left off because I can hear my voice in the background. Hey, this technology will kill us when. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking okay. about how, how they went to, 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 to the other part of um, coming to the sisters, trying to, you know, get point, wrong yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. They were investigating me behind my back. They would ask my my other colleagues when we are on call, um, how is Baloyi? What did she do? You know? Yeah. And okay, maybe sometimes you you answer because you think this person is just doing a survey, you know, just yeah. give your honest answer what happened, you understand? Yeah. And then those things would be collected as evidence. <laughs> Even evidence, uh, serious investigators. Really sold me out with the senior is that the one eventful night, um, we were handed over a baby. This baby, we we're supposed to do a blood guess on this baby. So the blood guess was done. We we're supposed to discuss it with the senior. So we we sent the, the the blood guess to the senior and sent the the, the the presenting complaint and everything, the history. So the senior does not respond to that. You know, when someone does not respond, understand, and they've seen it, you think, oh well, everything is okay. It's chilled. You know, I mean. like a lap dog or something like that, trying to tell them like this blood gas or this blood gas. So we left it at that and we're dealing with so many other things. It sees us, it's admissions at three in the morning. So honestly speaking, I cannot be running, you know? So my colleague is the one who sent the, 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 the picture to the senior. I took the blood gas. The next morning, the baby was not attended to. And now the baby was supposed to be sent to this hospital, but the baby cannot be transferred to the hospital because they did not get fluids because of the blood gas that was done and was never discussed. So now I get a call from one of the MOs asking me, Baloi, what happened? I'm like, okay, we had this baby, we took a blood gas. And then she was like, don't tell me a part that 
the other doctor did tell me what you did i'm like i took a blood gas she was like and then what and then i'm like okay the other doctor sent a picture to the and they discussed the baby and then she was like why did you not follow up with i'm like as much as i'm a doctor she's also a doctor i yeah. i cannot pull and I, said, I, won't, I won't want anyone to police me. Like, mm-hmm. don't come and double check my work. You're an intern as well. Well, maybe if you see a mistake, you can co- you can correct me. But not to come and see everything that I'm doing when I want to supervise me. I won't feel comfortable. Mm. So we had a with that. And she was just speaking over and casting aspersions that I did not do the call, whatever, whatever. So I was like, so I made the statement that upset her. I'm like, I feel like we're having a back and forth. And but you are having this conversation alone, so I don't know why. So it, she 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 got very mad. She mm-hmm. got very mad. Like yeah, it's fine. We're gonna discuss this with the consultants and and. So now also she was also part of the people that were collecting information about Upaloi. They went and told the consultants. The consultants had a meeting with me, and it was a very emotional. don't do that i don't find pleasure in doing that and right now it looks like i'm here to defend myself i'm not going to do it so whatever they said about me i i I don't know but what i know is that i need to move from this group because i'm very much tired i'm emotionally drained so i ended up switching groups i was supposed to be doing internal medicine now so i'm Mm -hmm. doing surgery me and the rep and yeah i know i feel you i feel you i feel you you. Mm. so i was okay no guys now i'm just gonna leave you in peace but i i don't i don't like i'm not a person who carries burdens and and so we spoke about it with the rep what is your problem what is it that you're experiencing with me he told me his problem i told him my problem and then bygones were bygones the last day of of peds we had a call together it was very great now we can bump into each other in the corridors and say hi to each other i don't have a problem with him so that whole experience of me feelings like people are getting up against me is what made me not enjoy like the block yeah 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 but but besides yeah. that is, is there anything else that you think it's quite uh, a downfall or a, a good thing about peace okay um the good we have rounds in the morning they're not like so academic uh but we discuss patients like and but basically we're just discussing the <laughs> like you're mentioning the bronchiolitis age bpn so yeah. it was like um those were the conditions that would mostly like experience in seizures that were yeah those were the common ones so uh it got to a point where okay now you know child with seizure you don't even need to call a senior you know that you're gonna do bloods you're gonna do cultures you're gonna do your lps you're gonna do your urine start this baby on rosafen you know cover them everything you understand so like it got to that like it feels nice because we have discussed it over and over and over again and then um on the last day it was the 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 end like the conditions that were rare that we normally like would never discuss we would only see one case we had presentations on them and they would teach us on them so it's very unfortunate that some of these things you know you never get to experience because we are a regional hospital sometimes you just need like common minor things and another downfall this is not from us as the health care whatever it's mm-hmm. from the parents. it's from there and bring kids late you cannot have a child who has been vomiting and having diarrhea for seven days and you're sitting at home and you're thinking it's gonna go away like personally i cannot sit here for two days feeling like that thinking it's gonna go away so a child also cannot handle that and people like these parents sit for a very long time and they come at very questionable hours of the morning and it's now the babies are like actually in a state where if anything if this person just that is so weak they're dehydrated they can't even breathe so parents should just be encouraged to like bring the babies as soon as as you know the baby is sick and also with immunizations they must always make sure that the immunizations are up to date because you know some of these things that get into the babies because you are you you as the parent you're not you're not doing right by the baby Mm -hmm. and you know 
with the issue of trying to hide the status from, from us, you are really not helping the situation because at the end of the day, that's your life. You want to hide your status, but give this baby a chance to live. Understand? Absolutely. Tell us that the baby's a yeah, so that we can be able to help to help the baby. So yeah, that that was peace for me. Oh, okay. Probably today was your first day in Gen Search. Um Okay, my first day in Gen Search was so chilled. I mean, I was basically writing sick notes and drawing blood today because it's a first so apparently, I mean as I'm I mean S O P D now. So apparently, um it's not hectic. Like the only hectic day is Monday. And then Tuesday, it gets easier. Tomorrow is Friday. We have bookings. And now we are no longer booking because the third waves. We are doing it. We're no longer doing electives. We're not doing. So like we push everyone three months like further like that. And of which we are going to have to deal with very angry patients that have been told the same story over and over again. <laughs> but like, yeah. Jen says, I feel like I'm going to enjoy, I, like I try so hard to go into a block with a very positive mindset because I don't want to go there and like already got day one, I don't want anything to do with it. I try to like. I don't know if hormones are ever going to fly around or whatever, but it's, <laughs> they, 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 they seem like very cool people and I'm excited to work with them. Oh, okay, perfect. But do you, have you heard anything about the just anything about the, the the blocks of next year and the one for this year? Um. Okay. You mean like as a cheers? Uh, I I I didn't get that. I uh, can come again. Okay, you are asking me that. Have I heard about the blocks of next year for yeah. upcoming in? He is a pardon, sorry. Isn't that your next with one now? After Gen Search yeah. with one, then those yeah. for next year. I mean, um anesthesiology, what? ortho, um, and um, family medicine, and what's the last one? That other one. Yeah. Have you heard anything about them? How they are, just to share something, because we know that you haven't done them, but just for you to, if you have heard anything, but if you haven't, it's okay, we can just continue. Okay. So I've, I've heard about, um, in, in my hospital, I've heard about psychiatry. Mm. I've heard, so I'm very much interested in, in anesthesiology. So definitely I was gonna hear about it mm -hmm. and, and uh, family medicine. So what I know is that family medicine, you do it for six months. I don't know where they do it. It's like, it's not in the hospital. I've, I've never, people attending family medicine day or maybe they do I just don't know because that hospital is big I, I literally some patients would ask me where's what 20 and I'm lit I genuinely don't know where what 20 is because I've never worked in what 20 and they find it very weird so I haven't been everywhere so um and then the rest of the blocks it's two months two months so also it's two months psychiatry is two months anesthesiology is two months you know people have got their own preferences someone prefers also like than barking and this is personally i'm just focused on one that i want to see if i love and if i fall in love with it really i'll be very happy but have you in terms of that like have you had anything about how how good how how bad it is like oh still we have to talk to you later next year you might have to talk to me later next year, but mm -hmm. then because I'm working in theater for the past uh, six months, ne? Mm -hmm. I have seen the seniors trying to, to teach like, you know, those that are like above me, the second year interns. And I feel like they're very lenient people. Everyone is just patient in that hospital, honestly speaking. you it's like when now they've taught you enough they feel like you are ready they literally like never try to like disturb you unless if they see that okay maybe you're missing a step and i feel like that gives you so much confidence so i've seen that with with my seniors you know that actually they, they are confident in this thing and they think they can do this thing so, yeah 
Someone is calling you. Mm. No, it's not a call. It's not a call. They, they, they are not wanting you. Dr. Dr. Khan, are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. It's the battery warning thing. I don't know if you can hear me. I can hear you. I can hear you. How many percentages? Yeah. Are I'm on 12. 12. Okay, no. Uh, we'll be done. We'll be done in a few. So yeah. Um, where 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 were we? Um, you were asking about uh, if I've heard anything about the blog since. No, no. Yeah, year. yeah. Oh, you're talking about the seniors in terms of anesthesiology. Mm -hmm. But then, okay, I think it's fine with that. We just come back. Uh, if guys got questions about the hospitals, but now I think we should just go to the DQ. I see you at the DQ is there. Um. We're done with the hospital. So if you've got a question, guys, please uh, ask the doctor here, yeah, Dr. Khan, she, about the hospital because now we're going to the DQ. So in terms of the DQ, how is the DQ? Did not, uh, hmm? I did not hear what you said. I just heard DQs. Oh, okay. I was saying that uh, we're done with the hospital part, but if anybody has a question, they can ask mm -hmm. you on that. Again, they can go DM you, Dr. Khan, on Instagram, you know, if they have anything. But now I wanted to go out of the hospital. So if they've got any questions now, they can just type them. So I wanted to talk about the DQs to say, how are the DQs? Do you stay in, in the same fence in the hospital or it's outside the hospital? Okay. I'm currently in a DQ, but it's not in the hospital. It's outside the hospital. Mm -hmm. It's in... Like where I said it's suburbish and we live with white people, we live with white people. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, here it's a house mm -hmm. and uh, there are five other people. Mm -hmm. So um, you share a common area. It's it's more like a race, I can put it like that. Like you share a common area, the bathroom and the, and the kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, then it's like seven kilometers away from the hospital. Mm -hmm. Then there is one uh, in the hospital, which the reviews are just bad for that one. I've never been there personally, but mm -hmm. the people who have, they don't like it. Um, it does not have enough DQs to like accommodate everyone in one space. That's what, mm -hmm. that's, that's, I feel like that's a downfall because now people are forced to go and look for places where they're paying ridiculous amounts of monies that personally I would be hurt to like pay. So mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, people are renting out, some are living in apartments and, and well, I was one of the lucky people to get this because when they they mentioned that people who want, I was first to say, okay, I, I, I want a place to stay. So yeah, and something that's gonna be affordable because guys, as much as you think this money is a lot, mm -hmm. it's not. It's really not for you to be paying out for your new car and then now you have to take something like 8,000 rands to pay for an apartment that you are not buying, you're just renting. For me, it's just ridiculous. So I just wanted to stay here. And lucky enough, I stay with three of my colleagues, classmates from SMU. Oh. The other two, yes, they are... Um, Who are they? The... Hmm? Who are they? Who are they? Okay, my, my, my friend, uh, Dr. Divani, I don't know if you know her, my tall friend, Judy. Oh, yeah, who know yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I live with her. And then also Dr. Tubakhale. I don't know how to describe her, but like, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, it's, it's, it's okay. So the room, the room you're currently at, it's like a rest. It's like you, it's like me now, but you, what about your fridge? Your fridge is in the common room or what? Yeah, it's in the common, like pots, fridge, everything that has to do with the kitchen is in the kitchen. So this is like my bedroom. The, then you share the shower with five people. In this house, they don't, I'm, I'm the only person who uses a shower because I have a problem with, <laughs> with using the, the bathtub, mm. so. But it's five of you. I just want to make emphasis, you know, to say like five people sharing a house. Like, um, what about now? You're having a chillers, you're having a party. Oh, you are four. Right now we are four. This other one has not been here since the beginning of the year, but his things are here. Um, and in terms of yeah, in terms of parties, and we have 
yo, we have fallen. We literally have never had any. I feel like <laughs> our personalities are just not, you know, are just not. So you have to, to respect other people. If you see that this person is not about noise and I'm such a noisy person, I try not to get in your space, you know. Let me oh. just go have where else. Mm -hmm. So so behind you there, it's someone's room. It's someone's headboard behind you, like behind your head there. There's someone behind you there. I just want to understand. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah? Yes, someone be behind me or this. Be behind the wall, behind the wall. Isn't that the wall? Yes. So yes. The it's, it's a headboard no. of someone there at the back. No, the, the headboard of this room is on the other wall, but okay. the person who lives here <laughs> yeah, is not. Yeah, the person who lives here is not here. And these walls are sort of like soundproof. So people you cannot sure? hear me. You sure? Well, I am because you see now. <laughs> <laughs> because of what you got proof. Hey, right? no. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. No, I just wanted to make sure, you know, the, the thing is it's it's if it's those rooms, you, you remember we used to stay there by uh, uh Lost City. So the whole city is yeah. like a house, you know. So the walls and all that. Imagine at this age, you still have to worry about, you know. So those, yeah. But okay, um, I feel you. I feel you. So those who are staying outside, do they get mm. subsidized or what? I've they've never spoken of them being subsidized. So it's just you and your salary, and you see how you're gonna do it. There's no. You know, there is no such thing. It's why every himself and God for all. Okay, just 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 to get uh, a gist of everything, how many interns did they take, and how many DQs, or how many in, out of those new interns they took, how many were able mm. to get the DQs? Okay, so as far as I know, they took forty eight interns. Mm -hmm. We were forty eight. You know, apparently, this is the thing. I don't want to speak without facts, but mm -hmm. we were supposed to have DQs ne, that would accommodate all of us. But apparently, the MOs have taken those DQs to be theirs. I don't know how how, how truthful that is. So, but then, um, so if it can accommodate, I can't speak about this year. So this year, it com it accommodated three ne, what? first year. Three, three this, this, We're talking about festival yeah. out of forty-eight. Out of forty-eight, okay. it this in this area it it, it accommodated three. Hmm. It was supposed to be two at the hospital. I don't know if those girls moved because they were complaining hmm. about the being um not habitable and and so I don't know if they ended up moving. So it means that they took five girls, and then uh, there's a race next door. Uh, we, it's, it's a boys, the, the houses are next to each other. So it's like a girl's house and a boy's house. So the next house there is one, my colleague. And I think the other one just, I think he's alone, but there were supposed to be five people living, like living in that, mm. in that other. House. So, well, boys, you know, sometimes men are like, mm -mm, nah, I want my own personal space. And, and maybe that's why they didn't come and And you can't say because there's enough that then girls can also stay there. Mm -hmm. Living and then as here. Yeah. So in total, they would have taken five and then six because I Okay, okay. Um, though <laughs> you guys you can hear about the DQ. I think the DQ is one of the most important thing, you know. Um, a lot of you agree with me. It's it's very important. But it's fine with that. I think you you covered it very well. Thank thank you for that. Thank you for the intel in terms of that. But now I, let's let's just go because we need to be closing. You know, we're also behind in time with time. But let's just go mm -hmm. to. Um, can you hear me? Uh, let let's go to the finance part, man. Just 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 a touch on the part of uh, this uh, policy, you know, funeral. I know a lot of people haven't done that, mm -hmm. you know, uh, medical cover, hospital cover, you know, all those things. So what's... I'm, I'm, 
I'm trying to connect your sentences because your network is bad. So mm. what you are saying, want me to touch on policies, life covers, and 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 medical aid. These insurances, in fact, yeah. Okay, insurance. Yeah. Mm. Well, what your take? What, what I'm what, what I'm asking is your take on them. You, you get me. Not to say oh, my. A, a lot of a lot of them. Like I've done a lot, so a lot of people know that what is that, what is that. But just your take. Okay. You know, yeah. Now my okay for me, what I feel like is is more important is the retirement annuity, mm -hmm. you know, the, the the thing where you like part of your salary you save it for retirement. It's it's it will be a waste of. I'm I don't want to say that I don't get sick. I don't know what's gonna happen in the future. But uh, no, I haven't done mine. I, I'm supposed to, to start doing it now because, you know, COVID and everything. Mm. I haven't done it. Uh, funeral cover, like life cover. I'm not thinking of dying anytime soon. I haven't done it. So <laughs> I'm done, really. Uh. It's, it's the annuity thing. Um, I'm, not, I'm not so big on those things. I don't know why. Maybe I don't understand how important they are and I still need someone to tell me why I should actually have them. Yeah. And then I tried having some policies, you know, just in case I die and then my mom could just like uh, get some, I don't know, my car or I have, a, I, I, I'm, I'm with PPS. So PPS, all these other things i need someone to convince me oh okay no it's okay i understand you driving i didn't know you got a car you posted it yes i'm driving oh i never posted it on like okay i don't know i lost my package <laughs> <laughs> i never posted it on um on mm -hmm. like big yeah i only posted it on on whatsapp so i'm driving i'm not driving it yes i would recommend pps someone asked the question mm. i'm not driving a very big expensive car mm -hmm. but i'm driving the car i like that that's, i love that i'm really... uh, -huh. uh you want okay i don't know if you're gonna be able to see them because they have a wrap around them mm -hmm. so these are the keys you see now it, it's showing me the screen of myself i yeah. Okay, but I think I can... <laughs> oh, okay, okay, yeah. I don't be seeing it. No, that's a nice car. Damn, that's a that's a nice car, hey. In my budget, so yeah. It's a it's a nice car, honestly. I'm a I'm a car guru. Uh, even yeah. Leno, uh, 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 can can attest to that. That's a nice car. Um, yeah. So, yeah. uh, let's let's just close with with these words of in terms of like as a woman, are you? looking in terms of something like business like investments opportunities you know the thing is once you guys are there we then you then mm -hmm. see things to see you know there's this light here there's light there in terms of business of financial growth in whatever sector mm -hmm. you have that you have something to share if you're not it's still okay okay I'm I'm focusing, I'm looking forward to something that I feel like I'm gonna love because I've had the love for it. And mm -hmm. that's when I'm gonna like my eyes, my eyes are gonna be open to say, okay, I see business opportunities in this. But to be honest, so far my mind is not there. I'm not even thinking about it. But once I get to do that blog and I I I like and I love it, mm -hmm. definitely I'm gonna like on how I feel and how, how a person can actually expand themselves financially in this field or, or yeah, but if for now, nah, nothing. Wow, oh, okay, perfect. So now, why, why would you say someone must come to a tele? And of course, after answering that, you have to answer why someone shouldn't come, not tele, memorial, tambo. Why Thank should, you. Yeah. yeah, why would you, <laughs> say someone must come there and why wouldn't you? In fact, the advantages and disadvantages. Okay. Um, the advantages of coming there, honestly speaking, you, you get to be a doctor. Like they let you be independent. You know, they let you 
think and let you make mistakes and not make mistakes as in like you're experimenting on human beings, but they are not like, it's, you know, when someone is always on your ear like that and telling you that you can't. Uh, you, your confidence is like every day you become confident and, and because they let you learn. And um, another thing why you should come to Tambo. Well, I don't know. Everyone is just friendly, fun, patient. It's the patience for me. Now nah, I like the patience of the seniors for me. It, it's, it's superb, honestly speaking, because I'm a, I'm a very impatient person. Um, in terms of the disadvantages, honestly speaking, besides the rest, you know, the residence issue and, you know, I can't change the behaviors of everyone or the staff, they, some people are just gonna have to deal with them and, you know, you're gonna have clashes with certain people. And I feel like everybody, ex but cause what's happening, what happened to me is like personal. So it's in a group. I can't say everyone in Tambo is, is like that, but, Honestly speaking, now nah, I'm I'm very grateful. I'm I don't regret going to Tambo. I don't because I feel like right now, if you called me for, you know, a basic ops and gyne thing, I can I can do it. Mm -hmm. If there's an image, I can do it. There's a kid. There's a kid who presents with this, you know, AGE, BPN, seizures, whatever, whatever. I can do it, and I can do it because my seniors have given me the opportunity to make the mistake and then correct me and then you know, reinforce that in me like every day. So yeah. Okay. No, perfect, perfect. Uh, besides that, I feel I think the, the most things is the, the rest, that's the accommodation is the downfall, I think. But besides that, it's a good hospital. So yeah, um, Dr. Akane, I think we've come to the end of our session, you know, and, um, but of course I have to say that whatever words you have for the interns that are coming next year, your last words to them, anything, anything you'd like to share to them. And also, okay. it, mm. it's, it's sort of cutting. I don't know, you want me to give a word of encouragement? Like you want me to give a, a word? Anything, anything you want to, your last words to. I don't know, it could be encouragement, it could be parting. Okay. I don't know, anything, anything you'd like to share <laughs> to those that are coming. <laughs> yeah. My last words ne, is that, um, guys, you need You know, uh, can can you hear me? Because okay. also I need to, can you hear me? I need to listen yes. also. Now I cannot let you go in terms of the connection. So I need to hear these uh, closing words. You were saying? Okay. You need to allow yourself or build a room within yourself to grow. Ne? And you are going, people have got different teaching styles. Some are going to be very... And that it only is only going to be rude once when he's telling you, but once you get it, you like you have it for the rest of your life. Be patient with yourself and know that for you to have completed this degree and you are an intern, you have actually you outdid yourself and you actually deserve to be there. So don't ever feel like you don't deserve to be there. And also, it's OK to have a breakdown. It's OK. Hey, not to be mentally well because of these things. And I feel like that's something that we don't talk about. So don't feel like you are less of a human being or you are not a doctor enough because you're having a breakdown or you can't talk to other people or you can't see, like seek all the help that you can when you feel like now you really cannot handle these things. Um, other than that, good luck to you guys. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing some of you there and yeah you you are doing great you're doing well i believe in you you have come so far so we 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 are ready just grow that room to say he's going to be rude about it but at the end of the day he's just shaping me in this career plus you have to deal with a person for three months and then after that you are out so yeah okay okay no um thank you thank you dr khan and thanks to everyone who tuned in um yeah we'll be signing thank out and then we'll be having Dr. Matikan later at half past, but I'll communicate time. But again, uh, don't forget to subscribe on the YouTube channel, guys. And Dr. Kane, uh, thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. Um, I really, mm -hmm. And thank you.
I really appreciate that you actually chose me. So yeah, thank you for the opportunity. Okay, okay. No, cheers, guys. Uh, we're signing out. All right. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, tell them, tell them. <laughs> Shout out, guys.